This is Bolt Energy USA. Welcome to the Yamaha Drive 2 Lithium Golf Cart Battery Installation Video. This step-by-step -step guide will demonstrate how to install Bolt Energy USA's 51 volt 105 amp hour thin battery and professional installation kit into the Yamaha Drive 2 golf cart. The professional installation kit is the most complete lithium battery installation kit on the market and includes everything you need to upgrade your golf cart's energy storage system to today's standards. Bolt Energy USA recommends having a golf cart or battery technician perform all battery maintenance on your vehicle. Please use the appropriate personal protective equipment throughout the installation. Make sure the golf cart is in tow mode. Remove the lead acid batteries and clean the battery compartment. Remove the original charge port by removing the three 8mm mounting screws and cutting the gray charger interlock wire. Discard the original charge port along with the positive and negative charging cables. The Yamaha shell has a unique shape that will require the new Bolt Energy USA AC port to be mounted with a fabricated cover plate or to the bracket just inside the shell. Insert and secure the AC port with the three provided screws using a 10 and 13 millimeter socket and wrench. Go under the golf cart and disconnect the OEM solenoid and the factory main negative cable at the controller. Both are located on the back side of the battery compartment. This is how the OEM solenoid and main cables look. There are several red and red striped wires running to and from the solenoid. Make note of each wire and its position on the OEM solenoid. They will go on the new solenoid the exact same way. The B positive cable from the controller to the solenoid will need to have the eyelet widened or replaced. The Bolt Energy USA high output solenoids post are larger than the original solenoids post. Here is a look at the Bolt 400 amp solenoid hooked up before it's remounted on the back side of the battery compartment. Go ahead and secure the solenoid back in place and tighten the main post to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds using a 13 or 17 millimeter socket and torque wrench. Use a 13 millimeter socket and torque wrench to secure the Bolt Energy USA main negative cable to the controller's B negative terminal. Tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. Set the passenger side bracket over the center ridge and make a mark inside the mounting slots of the bracket. Drill the mounting holes, reinsert the bracket, and hand tighten the provided mounting hardware. Go underneath the golf cart and cut away any form plastic obstructing the washer and nut. Then using a 13 millimeter socket and wrench, tighten the mounting hardware. Set the driver's side mounting bracket in place and measure 21 inches from mounting hole to mounting hole. Mark the inside of each mounting slot Drill the holes and reinsert the bracket and mounting hardware. Cut away any form plastic obstructing the washer and nut. Re verify 21 inches from mounting hole to mounting hole. Then tighten using a 13 millimeter socket and wrench. You can mount your 12 volt reducer and charger anywhere in the battery compartment. For this installation, we will be using self tapping screws to secure the 12 volt reducer between the mounting brackets to create more usable space inside the battery compartment. Set the Bolt Energy USA 51 volt 105 amp hour lithium golf cart battery on top of the mounting brackets. Insert the mounting hardware and use a 13 millimeter socket and ratchet to secure the battery to the brackets. The battery is extremely secure with no room for movement.
Plug in the 12 volt reducer wiring harness until it clicks into place. The yellow and black wires are the 48 volt input for the 12 volt reducer. We will extend both and route to the Bolt Energy USA battery terminals. The red wire is the 12 volt output supply and should be routed to the OEM light wiring harness or to a distribution block. The blue wire is a constant 12 volt supply for accessories with memory. The green wire is an activation switch that connects directly to the golf cart's key switch. The green wire will be extended and routed to the dash in an upcoming step. Install the Bolt Energy USA onboard charger anywhere inside the battery compartment and secure it to the battery tray using self-tapping screws. Plug the onboard charger's input wire into the backside of the AC port. A secure connection here is very important. Identify the signal wire, the smallest output wire from the charger. You're going to start by removing your tow run switch wire. And then you'll connect our charger interlock wire, the brown wire, with a female spade connector onto your tow switch. Now you'll clean up your wiring and now you have your working tow switch. Starting on the positive side, go smallest to biggest, biggest touching the battery's post. The smallest item is the yellow wire extended from the 12 volt reducer's input. The next item is the main charging cable from the onboard charger's output wiring harness. And the last item is the new Bolt Energy USA 2 gauge main positive cable. Secure the wires to the battery's positive post with the provided M8 bolt. Tighten using a 13 millimeter socket and torque wrench to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds. Finish by installing the positive terminal protector. Same thing on the negative side, smallest to biggest. The smallest item is the ground for the OEM light wiring harness. Next is the black wire from the onboard chargers output wiring harness. And the last cable is the newly replaced two gauge main negative cable. Secure to the battery's negative post and tighten to 11 foot pounds or 132 inch pounds using a 13 millimeter socket and torque wrench. Finalize by putting the negative terminal protector in place to prevent cross terminal arcing. Plug the state of charge meter wiring harness into the display port on the battery. Route the state of charge meter wiring harness along with the green activation wire from the 12 volt reducer underneath the golf cart and up into the dash area. Remove the mounting screw on top and pop the dash cover panel out of place. Pull the routed wires into the dash compartment. If your dash does not have a good spot to drill a hole using a 2 and 1 16 inch hole saw, you can use a meter mounting bracket to secure the state of charge meter to the dash in a safe and convenient location. Insert the state of charge meter and connect the meters in to the routed wiring harness. Secure the state of charge meter to the dash or bracket using the provided U-bracket and wing nut. Secure excess wiring in the dash compartment. Jump the green activation wire from the 12 volt reducer to the cold side of the golf cart's key switch as shown here. This will activate the 12 volt supply when the key switch is in the on position. Plug the Bluetooth receiver into the BT port on the battery. Use the magnet on the back side of the Bluetooth receiver to secure it to the top of your Bolt Energy USA battery. <music> Test cart operation by pressing the battery's on off button. The button will illuminate and the state of charge meter will come alive. 
put the golf cart in run mode, turn the key switch on, and check for cart operation. Once cart operation is confirmed, it is highly recommended to run a complete charge cycle before using the golf cart. Simply plug in the provided Bolt Energy USA charging extension cord into any secure electrical outlet to activate the onboard charger. The charger will run a complete charge cycle and shut off when finished. While your Bolt battery is charging, download the Bolt Energy USA mobile application from the Android or iOS app stores. Open the application and select your battery serial number to connect to the battery via the Bluetooth receiver. The application will display the battery's operating data and health in real time. But if you scroll down, you will find two of the best app features you will probably never need to use. The update firmware feature allows existing Bolt Energy USA owners to update their battery's firmware should a new firmware release in the future. The Send Data feature allows a Bolt Energy USA technician to remotely diagnose your battery in the rare event of a warranty claim. Simply select Send Data and email the data log to support at boltenergyusa.com. A technician will receive your battery's data log and immediately take action to find the quickest and most efficient resolution. Thank you for watching the Bolt Energy USA 51 volt 105 amp hour thin battery installation into a Yamaha Drive 2 golf cart. We hope this video answered all of your questions. If you have additional questions or would like to purchase a Bolt Energy battery, please visit the dealer locator link in the description of this video to find an authorized dealer near you or a reputable online dealer. You will also find links to Bolt Energy's website and the product's data sheet. You can also contact Bolt Energy USA directly through social media messaging or weekdays at the tech support phone number listed below. Please press the like and subscribe buttons. We have more product information and installation videos coming out on this YouTube channel on a regular basis. We appreciate you considering Bolt Energy USA products, and we hope to see you the next time. Thank you.